Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. What's up, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Race to 100. I'm Neil Bate. I'm Rick Starcell, and we are on episode 99. 99, feeling fine. We are just gonna cut to the cut to the chase. Last episode, we discussed the historical context of the N word. It's where its place was in uh, the American um, lexicon and how it came about, the use of it between different cultures, etc., etc. Today, we are going to talk about the contemporary use of the N-word, 2016. Where is its place today? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. I feel like that's a grenade that we're just so, throwing out there. So, all right, let's just, uh, okay, we, we can sit here and um, harp on this for hours. <laughs> So and you'll watch us. I guess to, to start this right, to start this, Rix, you ended on a great note. Uh, um, the end of episode ninety nine, excuse me, ninety eight. You said the N word is pretty much been outlawed. Is that the correct word to use? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you. You can't use it. It's unofficial. It's it's considered um, it's considered like immoral to use in a public setting. If you mm, don't, if you it. don't have melanin, you know what I'm saying, uh, in your skin. So if you're not yeah. black, you're you're not supposed to use it. I mean, this isn't a law. You can swear, you can cuss, you can, you can swear, you can, you you can, can call you, people you, names. You can you can curse, but I cannot say you, he, that. He, word. He, he cannot say the N word in a public setting. Why not? It would be considered unacceptable. Unacceptable. It would be considered unacceptable. Those are just the social cues, man. You know social what I'm saying? Cues. You don't. Yeah, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't scratch your, your genitals in public. You know what I'm saying? You don't fart oh, wait, when you're, you're not on, supposed to do that. You don't. You don't fart when you're on a date with a young lady. And if you're Dude, not I'm breaking, black, I'm breaking all these. You're not supposed to use the N word. Um, I guess when you're around. Um, people of color, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and again, it's just so crazy because like, like I don't think that a lot of white people understand yes, this thing. They do not. A lot of them don't. So like, you know, like I went to a, uh, I went to predominantly white high schools and uh, universities. So I've had these conversations my entire life, and you know, people would always say, you know, where, <clears throat> you know. It, 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 if, if I listen to rap and, and they use it and you know what's wrong with with me saying it and I'm like mm -hmm. and I'm like again it, it's it's just something you don't do like and I have these conversations with girls and I'll tell girls like you know girls like you've got your own little chemistry dynamic within your group you know mm -hmm. girls will refer to each other as their their b word or their yeah, c yeah. word you know what i'm saying but some guy who doesn't know them comes in and calls them <laughs> a b word or c word and he might get slapped they, they'll be like dude who are you like i don't know you so it's a thing you use like with people like and i think what a lot of white people don't understand is yeah. that it's dehumanizing yes. like it is yeah. it has its roots in yeah. just extreme de it was i mean yeah. slavery yeah. like it, yeah. it imbues this like yeah. you you are an object exactly. as, as much as uh, African Americans can be portrayed as objects when you use a word like that yeah. it's like you are you are less than human not even an object an animal because an yeah, okay, animal, animal. You're, you're, animal. You're, you're, you're an animal you're an animal you it um that's what uh, it relegates someone to when being called that and I mean we, we live in a country where the the historical legacy whether we want to accept it or not slavery happened and we're still <laughs> dealing yeah. with with the repercussions yeah. of that today the repercussions there is inequality and there is racism and all of these other things that have followed slavery yeah. and white people still have this like you know yeah advantage of sorts in yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there and there are people who are like who are like pro-black activists who say if we say the N word in front of in front of white people, we shouldn't get mad at them for using it because we are making mm -hmm. it okay. And yeah, I've, I've heard that. I, I mean, I mean, I mean again, again, I mean, white people have been using that argument, Rick's, for years. I mean, there are black people who support that um, that argument as well. I implore black folk. I'm like, listen, when you guys are around, <laughs> you know, each other, you can say whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? But when you get around like white people, like so you don't create the social context for it to be okay mm. by using this word, refrain from using it. Like if it's on a rap song, like you look down, like you know what the most awkward thing is? As a black dude, when you're like when you're like at a like a party and there's like a bunch of like white people and Kanye West's gold digger comes on. Oh, oh, it's oh, so God. awkward. I always oh, like I still I've been doing that. I ain't saying she a gold digger and then like you just look, <laughs> look down. You go to the bathroom because you just don't like. You don't want to like make eye con that awkward eye contact while like 
a Caucasian person is saying the word. It's yeah. just it's just so like weird, and it's something like I don't know if any like like other black people have like encountered this, but I know me like when that song comes out, everybody's like, oh yeah, and I'm just like, you know. So how many times have you been called the N word? <laughs> By a white person to my face. I mean, to your face. Um, honestly, man. Uh, I mean, it's it's all types. Oh man. I mean, it, I mean, it, it, it's happened. You know, really? it's happened in, in life. I mean, it's happened. Like as a, as an attack on you or something. I mean, like, it, oh, like how many times has it been like? Okay, like, it, do I do it as an insult versus there, like okay, a misunderstanding? Okay, okay, let me tell you. Okay, misunderstandings uh, as an insult only a handful of times, and it happens more when you're a kid. But as a misunderstanding, mm, okay. so let me tell you like the misunderstanding. So like like you'll go into a setting and there'll be some like. There'll be some Caucasian. There'll be like some, like some like some some white guys or some white dudes. But it's it's normally dudes that not and like they'll be cool. Like they'll play sports, and you might be the only black person there. You might be the token black person at the mm. time. And while you're there, they might think it's okay for them to use, and they'll say it. And then so me, I, I correct it. Some people don't correct it. I correct it. I say don't don't say that around me. I've always been one to correct it. You've got to. It's like it's like a baby acting up when when your when your child starts you know misbehaving. You've got to nip it in the butt right I like away. To, I like to call it the talk. The, like the, ex- the it, talk. It's like the birds and bees with parents. Exactly. If you if you have an African American yeah, friend. Yeah, exactly. And like, I and you, I told you will them, have the talk as a white person. And, and like here's that. what I always tell them, and I love having this discussion. I say, why do you say that? Oh well, you know I'm cool, and I've got a bunch of like black friends, and like they're cool with me. So like, why aren't like like if they're cool with me, like you should be like. And, and this is what I tell them, and this is always what I say. I said, do you know the reason why you're saying that to me? They're like, why? I'm like, it's because you feel comfortable. You know why you feel comfortable with me? They're like, why? I'm like, because I'm the only black guy here. I'm like, I promise you, you would not have ever said mm. that word if you went into the inner city of any metropolitan area. I don't care if you're friends with Dr. Dre and Snoop Doggy Dog. I promise you, you would not use that word. Uh. And, and 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 they look back at me like befuddled. I'm like, well, like, I guess you're right. I'm like, yeah, you. Don't, so don't try. Like, I'm not the one. You know what I said? Like, don't try to do that because yeah. you're here and you see me by myself. I'm like, if I would have had even one of my relatives with me or one of you, wouldn't have done it. But you see, I'm by myself and you might listen to some rap. Maybe you hooped. Maybe you play some football. Maybe you have a couple of friends. And I'm like. You know, and you might feel comfortable, like just because like we're cool doesn't mean like like we're we're not cool like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you'll never be cool. Like and, that. and and I mean, and, and we'll like, never be cool like that. And, 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 I'm, and I'm like I'm not even I'm not even out here saying that stuff. I'm yeah. not even out here saying it. So what makes you think that like it's cool for you to say it? Like I just like don't get it. Like I t- and I tell these guys too. Like Eminem, Eminem, like Eminem has more street cred than than most than most brothers out there. Okay. If you guys don't know who Eminem is, he's a very successful rapper. Um, he's a, a white guy with blonde hair, but has bars for years. And Eminem, he doesn't use that word yeah, yeah. in any of his music. Everyone he hangs out with, everyone he works with is black. And even he doesn't use that word. What the hell makes you think you can? Who are you? If Eminem, yeah. who like won Grammy Awards with Dr. Dre, a billionaire hip-hop mogul, does not use this word. What makes you think that you're 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 cool? Yeah. Because you played football with somebody you know from the West Side a few years ago. Like, come on, let's be real. Y'all. So, <laughs> man, I mean, it yeah. it, it really does show yeah. that we're still living in two different worlds. I mean, yeah. and yeah. there there are certain things that simply because of the country we live in and the color of our skin, there are certain things that yeah. um, will remain in their own worlds really yeah. and it's uh it, it's so crazy to think about that yeah i i mean i've i, I yeah yeah but again I, that's, I'm, I'm speechless but then my thing is again like to eliminate that awkwardness because again i'm not going to sit there and listen to a rap song yo this that mm-hmm. and the third and then look at that guy and say yeah you better not say that so for me i just i, I don't even say it like when that if i know a song coming up i just i don't make any eye contact i just like look that way and just and then get back to it now hmm. When you're in, like, and the thing is, a lot of the successful white guys that have dominated in, um, like, like black industries, like, like maybe in comedy or in rap music, like, they'll be the first to say, like, when I'm with my friends, like, I can say whatever I want. They're like, even if a black person calls me the N word, I never say it back to them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, God, like, yeah. even like Eminem, like, I'll say Eminem, you're that dude, like, like. You know, as a word, as as a, as a term of endearment or a form of solidarity, they'll say it to Eminem, mm-hmm. and Eminem will just be like, "Yeah, yeah, right, right back on." Because so even they understand, like, 
even if even if 100 black dudes call me the n-word i'll still never say it back because of their historical meaning behind that word and the hurt that it's inflicted upon millions of people it, it, it is interesting now that yeah. you mention it yeah. like I I actually was called the N word as a term of endearment by hey, somebody, and, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm and I'm saying because yeah. someone like you, like someone like you, who's worked with a bunch of like like black people, like but I would never feel comfortable ex saying ex that. exactly, yeah. and that's how it's supposed to be. Even you who yeah. studied black liberation theology, Rick, you could have marched with Malcolm X, uh, Martin Luther King, and Al Sharpton the same day. You told that to any black person, you have more street cred than anybody from the hood, suburbs, whatever. But by you refraining. From using that word, even if they call you it a thousand times over, it shows your level of intelligence and your empathy for the plight of black folk. Hmm. And maybe maybe that's the lesson to take away from it, is yeah, that, I mean, just it. being aware of that word, and, and yeah. it, it shows that you yeah. you have a cer certain level of empathy in yeah. your... In your yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't say it. I mean, I don't use it like that. So, so neither should you. Guys. You know what I'm saying? There are so plenty of lead by example. Right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there are plenty of other things you can like. You can do. You know what I'm saying? You can say, but like, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. And I had fun talking about this. Wow. I can't wait for episode wow. 100. You know, we've been waiting 98 episodes for this, this yeah. moment, and now it's here. Just so soak in the moment. Joke in the moment. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I know this episode is about to get us a lot of comments. So please let us know what you guys thought about yeah. our dialogue today regarding the contemporary use of the N-word within our society. Where the fuck was I? <laughs> okay. Your mind is fried after this. I, I know. Episodes and it's yeah. like... Yeah, we're, uh, we're, at the, we're, at, we're at the end. The fuse is nearly out. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more access to episodes of Race to 100. None of this would be possible without the contributions of our viewers and subscribers. We appreciate all of your support. With that being said, I'm Neil Batang. I'm Rick Thorsell, and catch us for the finale of Season 1 on the next Race to 100. Peace.